Right, hello everybody, welcome to the OFL final. OFL is a league that I uh, am in and I think is probably the best league in Blood Bowl 2, at least for me. With my tastes, it's my favourite league, um, rules wise and stuff. Um, VIP Volpe's in Cobra has made it the final in his first season uh, after joining mid era, which makes it harder. Um, so that's why he's down so much TV. He has got Setek and a Wizard and a Mercenary DP, I believe. Yes, there's the Mercenary DP um, for this match. He's up against Detox, um, who I remember from when we used to play in Blood Bowl 1, uh, with Bretonians. And you're thinking, how has he got the final with Bretonians? No doubt. Well, he does have <laughs> four guard peasants. He has so many guard peasants that he can't field them all. <laughs> um, which is rather hilarious, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, so Volpe's has been down like 400 TV nearly every single game this season. And so it looked like he really wasn't going to qualify for the for the playoffs, but he managed to, and he's in the final. So, uh, congrats to Volpe. This is an incredible achievement getting the final, um, and he might be able to. Uh, he might be able to win it. You never know. So detox going for the standard. I mean, the the dauntless it is handy, isn't it? It means he can go for these one Ds, probably two Ds. Um, to like help mitigate the strength difference um, which is a good idea I like the I like the non stand for whoa whoa well yeah no I like that I like that for it. <laughs> the non stand for so that he he's not necessarily going to get punched by him and if you follow to be able to punch him but then he's got blodge but still He's failed. <laughs> he's got a stat beast, hasn't he? Eight four four eight. He's got he's got Griff. He's got a Bretonian Griff. That also helps. <laughs> With Garden Dodge. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, he's better than Griff now, isn't he? Uh, Griff used to be eight four four eight in the old edition of the rules. Now he's only seven four four eight, and yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty amazing bird, to be fair. A pretty amazing bird. And he's got quite a lot of dot. Well, no, he hasn't actually. He's just got them in good spots. Obviously, the ball has hit it. And he's got three bludgy men. They're basically, the three exposed guys are all bludgers. Probably just got his tip to smash him here. Um, he's got to really lean on this block tackle thrower. That's, uh, he's really got to protect him and make sure he can make... You know, a hit on the ball if he gets the chance, or whatever, recover the ball with the wizard, or whatever. Just roll that monster up from scratch, Jesus. Oh yeah, of course, because he would have he would have free agent on the front, wouldn't he? Has he got any free agents? Oh, he's getting, one of the guard. One of the guard peasants is a free agent. Free agent blocker. Um, so only two free agents. So free agents is a is a thing in OFL, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, these are the two for Vulpes. And does he have a third? No. Oh, I like the noises. Hey, he gets the cars. And he wouldn't have powder blodger, so I think that was a good shout going for the uh going for the old guard peasant there. This is a bit annoying of course having to stand him up. I mean well, not having to stand him up, but standing him up and getting punched is obviously never good. Um on the other hand he's got benefits to standing up hasn't he so I'm not saying it's wrong to stand up <laughs> but it's a decision to stand up he doesn't have sure hands which could be crucial because he does have set X so actually getting the ball he's got two players that are good at getting the ball but only one guy that can reliably knock over the blodgers
un coup de sucré en dessous de la ceinture. So he only gets pushed. So putting him in. There, now maybe. Mm, no, because it's because he gets an extra assist there as well, doesn't he? So that was the place to put him. Do you know what? Do you know what I don't like? I'll tell you what I don't like about Detox's play. He's kept his uh, he's kept off the guard peasant to hopefully foul with this guy. Well guess what it is hopeful because to foul you've got to knock guys down. <laughs> Do you know what Kemri have got? Four strength five fuckers. <laughs> well actually only three but you know. Um, the Tomb Guardians I, personally I would have just had the guard on the field and you know. Oh is he, is he niggled? Nope okay fair enough fuck this guy. <laughs> Fuck this shithead. <laughs> Fuck this shithead guarder who's dead. No, it's totally right to have the dirty player on. <laughs> it's got to punch him. The blitzer, there's no choice there. Going for the pickup, naked three plus, no show hands. He gets it. I'm, 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 I think I would have probably wanted a punch before then, to be honest, because three plus it's two dice. Otherwise it's one. If you palm, you get a two dice in here. The Kemrys are not really putting you your ball under a whole lot of pressure. Oh, he hit the wrong one. In my opinion, he hits the wrong. The completely wrong play there. <laughs> oh no, no, it doesn't. This guy isn't. Uh, this guy isn't. I thought this guy was the dauntless one. It wasn't. So e either way, either way of doing it doesn't matter actually. So that one, that one's the best way of doing it because he's got dodge. He's got dodge and stand firm. So it's better to fail with him than fail with him. I uh, I totally thought that um that this guy was a with him having dodge. I thought he was a knight. <laughs> Blitzer. Whatever. Whatever the fuck you want to call them. So Vulpes has got some hits back here. Interesting. Oh, wrestled. Not what he wanted at all. Chooses to not stand firm. Now he has engaged with his tackler, hasn't he? Which is honestly something I would have not wanted to do. I would have I would have wanted to blitz with this this guy. Um Blitz him and then you're assisting here or something. Four maybe block him and then go one, two, three, four, G double G if I blitz in or something. But um, I mean, a double GFI sounds terrible, but I think it's very valuable not committing him. He is armor seven. Um, he can get the two D on him quite easily. But even if it wasn't easy to get a two D on him, he's going to really try to get the two D on him isn't he? To, uh, to take him out if he can. Wow, it's a huge cast though. Huge cast from Volpe's. I mean, not that it was wrong to do that. It's just I feel like. Keeping him back. 
you know, and then only only engaging later might have been better. But then on the other hand, you know, that might have got a pow and things might have happened. So it's not like... There was a wrong or a right. <laughs> <laughs> that is a genuine um, a genuine not what I would have done but who can say if it's right or wrong <laughs> because I, I like the idea of I would have just tried to keep him keep him back there and only only send him out to hit the ball carrier basically or recover from the wizard and I would just try to be hitting peasants with mighty blow or you know wrestlers with mighty blow on my blitzers and try to not need him for positional blitzers. Yeah. I, I agree, Tom Schnees. I agree. I don't like the dirty player at all. But you know, TV efficiency isn't such a such a thing in leagues, is it? Um, so, you know. <laughs> You've got a dirty player, and he levels a double. You might as well give him sneaky git. <laughs> like, you know, if you're gonna foul every turn anyway, like a lot of Brett people do, like Brett coaches, um, they're gonna foul every turn anyway, so they might as well take the the sneaky git to make it. You know, kind of get sent off less, and then once you get the third skill, what are you gonna take? Fucking wrestle block. If you're gonna keep him. Why not take a kick that you only use once anyway? I don't hate it. <laughs> oh, only a 2 plus Dauntless because he's strength 4 and he makes it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, win. Yeah. I'll be playing them on Monday, I think. Yeah, to be fair, Thompson, this is not like... But what I mean is it's not as horrific as it would be in CCL. <laughs> like in CCL, I would I would say it was definitely wrong and it would be a really bad thing to have. Oh, he's, he's going away from the ball. I don't like that. It does generate two blocks. But it does leave the ball dangerously exposed. But it gets him a, it gets him a Kaz. And it sticks, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Why did we see the... Uh, why did we see... Oh, we didn't see the animation. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Oh, there's Le Double Skulls. Is he going to go down to one reroll? He is. Ho, ho, ho. Is Volpe's going to bolt this fucking bastard? Or is he going to fireball? You can chain him away to get 2D on the ball. He's got, he's got multiple options. You can block him, push him, push him. And then blitz him there without... Yep, he's bolting him. I wouldn't have hit a fireball. <laughs> um, but that's a great bolt. <laughs> that is a great bolt. <laughs> that is a great bolt. Yeah, you can chain the throw right and then blitz and stuff. So, you know, I'm not saying... <laughs> I'm not saying that the, uh, that the fireball was, was right <laughs> or that the uh, bolt was wrong. But... I feel like um, the fireball was an option, certainly. I feel like the fireball was an option. Also, you see, 
if I, if I hadn't engaged him and kept him here, then he would have been free to go and collect it. Um, and now as it was, he's engaged and he cannot be freed now. He would have to dodge. In which case, you might as well just go for the pick up with this skeleton after blitzing him. One, two, three, four, five or something. One, two, three, four. He can go one, two, three, four. And then he can go to pick it up. No, he tackles. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice little move, isn't it? It is only a 2D, not a 3D. And it's kind of blocked him getting the ball this turn. But again, he's Kemri. He doesn't have to get the ball this turn or anything, does he? Blitz with Setek and I guess just run him around. Could move him to there and then 3D, but then you've got a scatter it. So... The 3D isn't very appealing. Yeah, just pushing is, is fine there, really, isn't it? It gets you a Tomb Guardian on the ball. <laughs> it is, but it's, it's less brutal than just a Randor Skellington trying to pick it up in the rain. <laughs> I think it probably should have tagged him. First, maybe he's going to GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six. He could GFI to there. Or even double GFI to here. Looks like he's going to GFI to there. See, that was a thing, you know. Is it. Oh, he was going for the double GFI. Was it worth it? Could he have just tagged him there? And was it greedy going for two? Maybe, you know, he could have come in for one there, couldn't he? In which case he would have been basing him. He could have just tagged him from there. Because if he, even if he tags him from here, it's a 4 plus dodge out, right? Yeah, so I like tagging on top without having to roll a 2 plus. He did have 4 re-rolls. But, um, so I don't hate going for the 1 GA fighter here. Um, I think it's a little bit greedy going for 2. In case you rolled a 1 on the first one. But again, that's, that's severely nitpicky, isn't it? And... You know, it looks like you could be. Uh, it looks like it could be results-based analysis. The problem here is he has got the easy scatter, hasn't he? Um, he hasn't scattered it though. Interesting. I would have gone for the scatter, I think, and then see what he could have done. And he's kind of free, isn't he? He's kind of free. He could have run through and done something. I mean, he's still in a shit state though. It's still looking pretty horrible for the birds. I was a huge player to lose, though, the dirty player, because now he can't foul him with DP. He's got to foul him, though. I mean, this turn, <laughs> this next turn is all about... So I, I guess now it doesn't matter where he would have tagged him, because he would have just blitzed him anyway. But, um... Yeah, Setek's pretty much always great, to be fair. But, yeah, particularly the fact that there's no sure hands for the Burts and Blodgers with a lack of tackle. But he's pretty much always great. Well, I think they mind a bit. I mean, it's against Kemri. The ball's on the floor in the rain. And this guy might get fucking stomped next turn. I would certainly want to stomp him, wouldn't you? I wonder if you could get surfed. It's probably uh, really difficult to surf him, but might be possible. There probably just isn't enough players. And maybe though, he's there. He, maybe he's could have served him. Worth thinking about. If you had four minutes, if you were in Rebel, you could have maybe tried to think about planning out, you know, pushing this guy to there and then blitzing him and then pushing him again and then blocking him somehow. So do you do you surf this guy? I think you probably do. Even though it like doesn't do a whole lot for you. Cause you've got the foul on him. He can go here. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, surf him. I think you've got to surf him, right? You just you just got to, because it takes a player out. It really sucks that, that wasn't a pal, because that was like three assists for the foul. <laughs> Don't be mean, Jaws. Don't be mean. Hey, gets the removal. Instant removal. 
Yeah, I mean, that's the question, isn't it? That is the question. It depends how much of a Kemri coach you are. But yeah. <laughs> I think I think so. I think Kemri coaches would foul. To be honest. Hell might even minus one it just to put him in a better spot. Go for the pickup for the scatter. Like it's got the potential to go badly for you. Because he could catch it or it could go there. But it could go to one of these four squares and then it seems pretty good for you. No, it didn't. I really think it was worth thinking about the foul, honestly, even no assist. A bit like how Sage had the foul at the end of the uh, Rebel Super Bowl. You know, there was no... That was a brainless one. He had to do that because otherwise, you know, he scores for sure, essentially. And it was on the last last half of the game and everything. He had to foul. That, this was kind of a similar kind of deal, right? This this player is too good. He's just too good. Literally too fucking good. He's busted. And I, I would have gone for the zero assist foul. I mean, obviously, if you powered this guy, it's amazing. Because then you get the surf and a huge assist foul on him and you're laughing. Maybe could have re-rolled the hit on him. With four turns left, maybe because it could have greeted this this both down. Just because the, the foul was so important. Like, the assist for the foul was so important. I'm not overlordy. I'm just commentating. <laughs> As per the title. <laughs> um, but, Volpes and Coulter and Detox are playing. And I should be playing Blood Bowl on Monday. Yeah, now he's lost control of the drive again because he just gets the ball and fucks off. I think he had to foul him. Honestly, I think even with no assist, I would have fouled him. But, uh, yeah, maybe should have re-rolled hit. If this is a 1 in 9, he's up shit creek. Oh, ho, ho, ho! well, he gets away with it. He gets away with it. Um, now you've got to think, does he just try to... Uh, block this character with him to, uh, you know, three dice, talk to power him, then three dice with him as well, yeah, so you can push, and then he can he can three dice with Setek as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then he can block. <laughs> and now he has to follow. Because then he, he should have felt he should have um, he should have followed I think because then this guy could have gone one two three four to assist the blitz and he could go one two three four five and then he could have blitzed as it is oh no he got the push okay you can just punch him disregard that it totally didn't matter so he can just come in there then but he needs a power now though. Need a pal anyway. He's got. He's got. If he's got to assist, he, there's. There's. I guess he's thinking about which square to assist from. Now he needed it to uh, be able to assist. And if he'd powered him, then he could have powered him to there. Um. Which meant he could have blitzed him there, so I, I like the I like the Tim Guardian block. Obviously he's got to re-roll this if it's not a pal. Ooh, got him. Now he's gotta go for the pickup. <laughs> the double ones. Ooh. Interesting. Scattering opportunities. <laughs> yeah, I know Tarsis, I'm the same, but... You know, at the end of the day, it was like... The guy's too fucking good, isn't he? Look at him. Look at him! Look how good he is. If you don't foul, if you don't stun him that turn, he gets the ball and he's gone and you've lost the drive. That was a pretty good scatter, yeah. 
pretty glorious. He can 2D. No, he can only 1D. 3, 4, 5, 6. And he's got guard. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so he can 2D him and get the, another scatter. What it means hitting with his scoring threat. Oh, he could hit with that guy anyway, but then he doesn't get the scatter. Doesn't have a scoring threat yet. Will Vulpes get a scoring threat upfield? So I guess he's just going to leg it with this guy, right? That makes sense. Just so at least he's got him as a threat next turn. Which means Vulpes can't go full hand. Right, on the other hand, you could go three, four, five. This is kind of better in a way, because you go four, five, six, seven, pass. And then at the end of the day, if it fails, you've still got this guy, you know, where you can go back and defend a bit. Um, so I think you probably just go for the pass and then run away in afterwards. So five plus pickup. Nah. Like this, this does keep Vulpes honest. This does keep Vulpes honest. Vulpes can't completely disregard failure states. Um, but. <laughs> um, I guess that was good to blitz him, and then that's, that's, that makes it harder for Vulpes to get forward, to be fair. So that was a bit of both, wasn't it, actually, what Detox did there. That was like, he gets his own scoring threat, blitzes Volpe scoring threat. So, can, I can respect that. It's probably not what I would have done, but probably better. <laughs> but still, who can say whether it was good or bad? <laughs> hey, there's a score. That's not what I would have done, because now he can tag him. Whereas if he just don't make the hit... He definitely can't tag him. He can, and now he's just gave him the chance, the one in six chance to be able to tag him, and he just he just gave him it. So I think that was the wrong thing to do. Even though on a three plus you surf him, it doesn't matter. He's got three reserves. So the surf doesn't even matter at all. The only thing that matters is if you roll that skull. Which he did. <laughs> So, this is interesting, isn't it? Does he just go into scoring range, the fucking thrower? God, it's rough. Because he's so strong. <laughs> Set Ek, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set Ek could double GFI this turn. I don't hate the Setek double GFI. <laughs> oh dear, another rem He's had some good removals, Vulpes, hasn't he? Very good removals. I mean, it'd be more impressive removing two guard um, peasants if they didn't all have guard. <laughs> but, um... There you go. Oh, he's blocked the path of, of Setek. I like Setek just bezing forward. GFI over here. Setek could double GFI and he'd be in range. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna have to double GFI him. He's got he's got a GFI again. He's got to get out of the way. Oh no, he double won. Oh god! Oh, he got removed. <laughs> Oh god! That's, that's what you get for not just not moving him, because he had the uh, he had the. To be fair, it saved Setek getting KO'd, but um, yeah, I like running Setek up. <laughs> I can't remember actually, Shawnee. Not going for the push. Interesting. 
I don't know how he's hoping to score here, Detox. This guy dodges around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Long bombs it. He goes in the end zone first because he's got sidestep. Failed. I could speak fluent French now, by the way. I uh, saw a video on the internet <laughs> that someone sent me 10 days ago, but I didn't see it till now. And it was brilliant. It was uh, Google, Google Translate and like tuna in French is Don. <laughs> And aunt, no, uncle is Tom Tom, <laughs> and Mo is Tom, <laughs> and uh, and uh, your is Tom. <laughs> so, so your uncle Mo the tuna is Don 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 <laughs> in French. <laughs> it's just pretty good. Oh dear. Oh, he gets the pow. Does he have a man left to foul? He's got a journeyman. Dodge him. Fucking dodge him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get in. Oh, he doesn't even need a dodge. He can go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, let's stop that assist, but he can get there anyway. Oh, he's stand firmed. Okay. He can get here, can't he? So he can get there for an extra assist. And then he can three assist foul him. And if he cases him, he's done. And even if he kills him, he might be done. Got to foul here. He's just got to because he's, he's got the reserves. He literally has to foul. If he doesn't foul here, it's a big mistake. I, in my opinion, I guess the question is whether he... Oh, he should have had an extra assist. I don't think the extra SPP matters in the grand deal of... In the grand picture. It's the final, you know. He could have had an extra plus one. So he rolls the gym foul. Absolute pathetic dice rolls. Um, but I think that was definitely the right decision. Even more. The dice were shit. And he's got his Tomb Guardian back, which is massive. Because if he only had two Tomb Guardians, he'd be like a shit undead team, wouldn't he? <laughs> so now, all he's got to do is offence on the rain as Kenry. Offense in the rain as Kenry. I think he, the Burts might still have 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, they do. They've still got 11, the Burts. So it's 11 versus 11. There is more quality on the Burts side. Um, but, you know, he, he's taken off a couple of guarders. And the kicker. So, you know, he's done some good things. Um, he just needs to push forward, like push the advantage of receiving, doesn't he? Needs to hope for a changing weather as well. It was a detoxes stadium, which is a beer stand. I'm sure Vulpies would think about getting a uh, weather dome as Camry. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, Kemri in the rain is is brutal, isn't it? It's brutal. Brutal stuff is Kemri's in the rain. Now 
he's got his he's got his uh, dedicated offensive throw around with kickoff returns. So that's nice. So now there's not as much pressure on the tackler to carry the game. <laughs> oh, but the tackler might catch it. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> the drowned man was downed by a rock. He does not regen. <laughs> and, and the fucking shitty fucking bird is only stunned. Oh no. <laughs> that was not the changing weather he was looking for. <laughs> and then he won in 27s on this block. Oh god. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> what a clusterfuck. <laughs> does he have Juggernaut, this this lad? He does, so he wants to blitz him, doesn't he? For sure. Hundred but hundred percent he wants to blitz him. <laughs> yeah, it foils yet again. Hailstorms. <laughs> I think you move this guy over here first to strengthen that. It's hard. Bert's off fast. To be honest, the, as, as fucking wank as Bert are, they are fast. <laughs> it's the one thing they've got going for them. And they're pretty fast. And now he's a man down with a team that's slow and can't dodge at all. In the rain. That's two pickups. It's tricky. Very tricky for Vulpes. That was a horrible, horrible result for him. Should have blitzed him all day, shouldn't he? There you go, he'd have knocked him down. Bosh. Could have had him. Could have had his life. Fucking Raymond. Could have smashed him to bits. He's defenceless for, for Setek. Yeah, it is true. I think it's Kemri. Kemri are the, the number one team to go weather dome, aren't they? To be honest, because it's just rain. It's just it's hard emotionally <laughs> as well as dice rolling, isn't it? You see rain as Kemri, and you're like, oh fuck off. <laughs> but yeah, he's got the pickup. And if you do well, you should have a high fan factor and you shouldn't get fucked by rocks as much. But, I mean, you still will. I, I like getting rid of the rocks. <laughs> Just because it means less. The thing is, if you have the weather dome, it means you might win more games because of no rain. But if you, if you, take, if you take the no rocks, you will get less attrition in the long term. No matter how long it is. No matter how long term it is. It's pretty bad though, Wayne, because if it doesn't work twice, it's got a good chance of not working twice. And if it doesn't work twice, you're in a world of hurt and you can't increase the odds of it. That's the thing, right? Like, a 4 plus with sure hands is better than a 3 plus. However, if you fail the 3 plus, then you can commit a reroll to it on the second and the third turn. And then have really good odds of picking up by turn 3. But you can't do that with a Camry, can you? You can't improve your base chance of picking it up. So when a fast team like Bert runs round and puts some pressure on you, you really want to pick it up at the second attempt. And if you fail, you're probably done. So he was he was very happy to pick it up then, I'm sure. Just gonna herb derp him now and make it hard for him to protect it, I think. Wouldn't have minded tagging Setek, I know he's got break tackle, but still every little helps, doesn't it? Like, this is just an easy get in my belly turn for uh, Vulpes and sure he's going to be surrounded on all sides and everything but he can he can get in and, and then at least all of his guys will be together protecting the ball and 
he can get based up a bit and everything and there might be shots at the ball or whatever but um, it is the surfing stadium yeah it's a uh, detoxes stadium oh he must be gonna blitz this guy but he's got stand firm that's a bit tricky Ah, but he's got stand firm, but he's got jugs. I mean, that's why he's blitzing him anyway. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So at least he'll push him. And he's got a good chance of powering him as well. He powers him. Get to fuck. That gives him the 3D. The Dudley Death Drop, as it's known. punch that, that blood stepper as well and at least he's got everyone together like so at least if at least if detox swarms him at this point he's got the ball he's got all his guys in a, in a fucking blob <laughs> and hopefully he can do something yeah it's funny how can we hit the heat because they've usually got more more players than their opponents haven't they with their reserves for fouling but um I guess it's just because like their their position their the linemen are so shit that if you lose a position it's it's really annoying, isn't it? It's a problem that I have with Necro and that Necro have is that their linemen are garbage. So <laughs> you know like that that match that Sage played the other day uh, versus versus Travel Scrabble. Travel Scrabble had two flesh golems, two whites, two dogs, and the rest of the team was garbage. Like it's just it's just well, you know, you know it's just, it's just absolute garbage. Whereas yeah, Sage had like six good players, but if he lost them, at least he still had you know move six everywhere and uh, and add three everywhere and guard and everything. Six and two threes probably flicky flack, you know. Riots are annoying, aren't they? Riots are pretty annoying. And what's the other one? Pitch invasion. Pitch invasions can be brutal for you. So Yeah, so he's getting swarmed now. Thanks to the fucking rock. And the <laughs> and the abundance of guard. Um and there's not a whole lot you can do about it, is there? He's just going to have to take what hits he can do and hope for the best, pretty much. Sad state of affairs for Kemri, really. Also, again, the psychological effect of the rain means that Detox will be happy with any kind of hit on the ball he can get, which will have a greater than none chance of working. And if it does work, then things can happen, can't they? You know, like... Uh, it can be devastating in the rain losing the ball. Like, yes, a 55% isn't that bad, as Wayne Ferris said, but if it's in a tackle zone, then it's 30% to pick it up, and that's real bad. And then it's a 4 plus dodge away, which is really bad. Yeah, this, this, was, all, this was always going to happen. Like, it, it's horrible because it's like, if all P's played that turn, probably exactly how I would have played it, and is in exactly the same mess that I would be in this turn, and this, I don't think there was any way of really avoiding it. You know, <laughs> it just fucked. He just lost that. He lost that fucking Tomb Guardian, and then he was up shit creek. Pretty much. <laughs> this fucking he needs to he needs to sack fucking big Gene Hudgens. I tell you. Yeah, exactly, Saitam, yeah, he's not even worse, he's a fucking dog shit, <laughs> absolute dog shit fucking undead team. <laughs> An undead team without any fucking uh, ghouls, <laughs> or whites, <laughs> fucking adj-busted whites. <laughs> Oh dear. The the thing that he's got going for him is the tackle is over here. 
There's only one tackler. So maybe you can just, in blood she trusts. No. No way. In. <laughs> Not in my opinion. They'd be a playable team. But um, I wouldn't call them tier. I mean, it depends on your definition of tier one, doesn't it? You know. Gone behind and hit up to chain away. Maybe. <laughs> oh, he makes the dodge. Ooh. Is that better, though? No, is my answer. <laughs> because he comes in there, he blocks. He blocks him, he blocks him, and then he's got 2D. I feel like this is in a worse spot. Yeah, it's like, it's the it's the finals win, so yeah. Didn't follow. Oh, he's got guard anyways, so we can follow with a guarder. Oh dear. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like this. Honestly, I didn't like this dodge because sure he hits you here, but then he's not hitting you with tackle, whereas he he put himself in the in the way of the tackle, didn't he? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I think the decay makes them essentially unplayable as a as a race because what's the fucking point? Like, it just makes them basically unplayable. I hated this play by Volpe's ear. Bring it, bring, bringing him into uh, into the fight easily. Yeah, yeah, true, it's a bit stupid. Uh, no, I think it is impactful, absolutely impactful, yeah. Your, your, your best positionals um die at double the rate that they should which means they get you know in the long term they just get less skills and everything and you can't rely on them having them developed at the same time and everything so yeah i think it's a pretty big team like obviously it's not impactful at all in the game itself but um i think it makes a huge, it's a huge impact to their viability, absolutely. SPP retention, etc. For sure. <laughs> you trade one edge for a thick skull, yeah, you would do that. It would still be like the worst deal in the history of agility deals, maybe ever. <laughs> but at least you'd be getting something. <laughs> so he can free a Tomb Guardian which he does almost automatically he's done that after 5 seconds I feel like this turn deserved more than a 5 seconds thought um, but he's straight in I don't know if this is tilt or, or what from Volpe's I'm not trying to be mean to him but I feel like he really should have, uh, you know, put a bit more thought into that than just, nope, here we go. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. <laughs> you know, it was like instant stuff. That's okay on an automatic turn. When you've lost the ball and you're surrounded by your opposing team, it's not so good. Setter can punch him, can't he? And then he can block him. I can block, he stood him up first. Oh, he would have been my recovery. I would have made this block first and then recovered with him. Yeah. 
Oh, that wasn't set out. Okay, that wasn't set out. That was set there, so that's why I did what he did, which is absolutely right. Disregard what I just said. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Detox in a really good spot now, so he doesn't have to. Uh, he doesn't have to go crazy, does he? With uh, like, he didn't have to get the ball that turn. He just still had to get people stood up and, uh, and around it. And now it might have scattered beautifully for him. Well, not that beautifully. <laughs> but you can still hand off to the super bird. Still pretty good for him. They're a funny team, aren't they, Kemri? They're like worse on offense than they are on defense. I wonder if he had to use the wizard. I think it was... I think... Like, I liked using the wizard there. Either either fireball or, or bolt. I liked using either. Um, but just given how hard offense is for Kemri and how how it's easier than offense, maybe they should have. Uh, maybe he should have kept it. You know. And again, that does look like benefit of hindsight and everything, but it's. Uh, it's something. He could, uh, he can 2D this guy, chain him to there, then he can 2D him to, he can't chain him away, he's got stand firm. That would have been a nice play if he didn't have stand firm. <laughs> he could have come down there, he could have blocked him, pushed him into him, then he could have blocked him and pushed him into him and chained him away, but he's got stand firm. Which I like on strength five monsters. I mean, it wouldn't have been that nice. It would have got me an extra block on a on a um, thrower, which is nice. It was real tough. I don't I don't know what the right play was on the like the turn that Volpe's lost the game, basically, <laughs> which was like turn nine. I would have lost the game in the exact same way. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I wouldn't have known what to do right. <laughs> I turned 10, sorry, turn 10. So there you go. Yeah, exactly, Saitan, yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Literally, all I would have done was do exactly the same as him. Just get everyone up in a big blob and hope that it holds together somehow and you can survive somehow. I'd just be praying at that point, which is what he was doing, basically. Very rough. Oh, I do think you should have blitzed the... Uh, the... Uh, the blocker that was on the on the extreme edge and he did end up running around to put pressure on so if he had blitzed him and held that side stronger maybe he could have pushed down that side you know like maybe what he should have done is <laughs> on turn 8 I would have played the turn 9 if I'd got the turn 9 the same as uh, sorry turn 10 I would have played the turn 10 the same as him if I'd got there on turn 10 but I wouldn't have got there on turn 10 because I would have blitzed the uh, the wrestler so maybe if he'd made this side strong so he couldn't break through both sides, if he'd made one side strong, you know, maybe that would have helped. So he wouldn't have been totally enveloped. But it was, it was always going to be hard, I mean. Yeah, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. Like, it's not like it's, it's not like you can slate or anything at all. It was really hard. I, I, don't, know what the, I don't know if there was any answer to what he could have done. <laughs> but maybe, because, <laughs> I don't know, miss next game, or dead, or whatever. But he's only got three Tomb Guardians, for whatever reason. Presumably, Decay was shit and fucked him. Presumably. <laughs> You 
block him, get him free, run him down, blitz with him, run him down, hand off to him, have it totally screened off. I would have handed it. I guess you don't even have to hand it off, right? You don't even have to hand it off because it's a three plus. If it was a two plus, I think you hand it off to him because he's super mobile and everything, and he's just like Griff plus. But I guess there's no need to do that because if he loses the ball, then he can recover it anyway. So he can punch him first to free him up. Or he could punch him up. I think better, yeah, that's better. And he can run around a bit. He can do well. God, he's getting all the AV breaks. I don't like the follow, because now this isn't... Oh, no, it is a 2 leagues. he's got a guard. Disregard. He has got dodge, though. But he can push him to there. And then he can punch him. And all sorts can happen. Oh, he pals him anyway. Getting the dice, isn't he? <laughs> Another removal. He's getting the dice. I think there's a uh... yeah. <laughs> it's getting the dice are getting to the point now where there was probably nothing any anybody could have done whatsoever. Um, but it's interesting, isn't it? I, I, I feel like at the start of his turn ten, he was just fucked. Rerolls the Dauntless. Controversial play. Uh, most people would say never re-roll Dauntless. Arguably it worked out for him. Because that 5 might have been paired with the uh, with the 5 from the block. Or it could have been paired with the 1. And then the re-roll might have uh, been bad or whatever. But Yes, I feel they're fast. You know, like they are fast. To be fair... They're fast, and this team has got a lot of guard. I mean, this team is stronger than than Volpe's team, essentially, with all the guard they've got. You know, and only two Tomb Guardians. Like, it was brutal losing a Tomb Guardian in the rock. That was so horrible. He made no removals on the LOS, and then once they were going to stand up, it was going to be real bad again. So now, what what Vulpes should have done <laughs> is spend like about a minute just clearing your head and thinking if there is actually anything you can do to salvage the game because you're obviously going to be completely mentally gone at this point after taking three stuns on that turn which is <laughs> like insanity when you're already down players to fucking brats and you've lost the ball in your drive but I guess that's what you should do. Like, nobody would. <laughs> nobody on earth would. <laughs> but I guess that's what you should do, right? <laughs> you should, like, take a minute or two and try to refocus and think, is there actually anything you can do? And be positive and, you know, try to do the absolute best plays you can with your five players that are stood up. But nobody would ever do that. Everybody's just going to think, what a shit fucking game and just mindlessly click through the rest of the match. Which is fair enough. <laughs> and like, he'll have dice in it, obviously. But Mistake from a uh, detox, not standing in this square. At the moment, uh, <laughs> at the moment, Volpe's has got a 5, 4, 6 uphill to power him and then the ball could go in the crowd, right? If if he was here, then the ball couldn't go in the crowd and then he would have his edge four to pick it up. So 
So regardless of our loop, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, oh look, this is what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whatever it is. So you're like, it is a big mistake. And that, look, everyone's going to do that. You know, every, everyone's going to do that a lot of the time. But it's a good practice to stand in that square in that situation because, you know, if it happens, <laughs> if this kind of game happens to you uh, about a hundred times, one of those times, you'll make is five plus four plus four plus two plus two plus one D. <laughs> you know? Some amount, and then the one in three scatter, like the one, the three and eight scatter. It will, it will happen. It will happen, won't it? Some amount of the time. Let's samber it. He had a five plus, um, four plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then another five plus, and a two plus, and a two plus, and then a one D that needed a pow. Yep, it did need a pal. So that's a 5 plus. And then he needed a 3 out of 8 scatter. So, he actually had a quite a high percentage chance. About 5% of getting the pal. And then... And then 3 times out of 8. So, what's that? About... Like, over 2% chance... Of, uh, of the ball going in the crowd. And if the ball goes in the crowd, you might not score. <laughs> you know, because it could go back this way, he could score. Could go back here and he could recover. Could go back here and then back there and back there or back here and out there or out there, whatever. So there would have been, there would have been like a 2% chance is not nothing. <laughs> like it really isn't, is it? <laughs> when you could just choose to be one square different. Hello, Crosco. Yep, it is. Uh, this is the OFL one, which is my favourite Blood Bowl League. And, in my opinion, the best rules, best format, everything. Best everything. Hello, Max. That was a horrible rock that just killed Volpies, didn't it? But... Makes you wonder though, doesn't it? What he could have, uh, what he could have done better. I guess ma making one of the sides stronger so that he could, he could have at least not got broken on one side. Because it wasn't good that he got broken through on both sides. That was, that was bad. Well, don't be mean, please, Crasco. Please don't be mean. I don't want people to be mean. Blood Bowl's Mr. Nice. The mistake was picking Kemu's erase. Yeah, he got the final, though, didn't he, Bernard? He got the final, which is very impressive. Especially coming in halfway. Well, not halfway. But, you know, after a season. <laughs> what a cross -call. <laughs> um, you can still be polite, can't you, and stuff, and pretend, <laughs> or just not say anything. <laughs> Uh, I hope he's ready for the Kemri one turn. Yep, one turn. Unlikely to happen, isn't it? Three, six, nine. He's got 11 players. He's got the title OS, so there's a chance of the one turn. Uh, there's literally no reason to make a tight LOS. He's made a tight LOS. He's got Juggernaut for the Blitz. So, there's a chance. Tell me there's a chance.
And look, again, again, you can't really criticise Detox for the tight LOS. It's kind of setting up against a riot a bit because it, the, the, one, the Kemri one turn is indeed super, super, super unlikely. Um, now he's just playing for the riot, I think. Bull piece, which is fair. Like, the one turn is super unlikely, especially as he'd probably have to fill in spots behind here that would be hard to get to. I got a yellow shape with a blitz target up with, from Setek. Throw a rock. <laughs> a Brett only stunned. I bet I bet that's what Fulpies wished had happened in the first half. Oh well. Congrats to Vulpies for getting the final, that's very good. And obviously <laughs> incredible detox winning it. <laughs> Fucking Brett. <laughs> the mighty Burts. I mean having having a super super Brett really helps, doesn't it? That is an incredible player. Eight four four eight. Lodge guard. That is really an outstanding player. He's got loads of guards as well on the rest of the team. He's got a nice team, but he's played well, hasn't he? He's played well this game. The only thing he's done kind of wrong was very minor very minor uh, kind of positionally things that after you know after he's feeling pretty happy about winning the match already <laughs> like it's the sort of thing that everyone does at some point they won the match and they just don't really care and they fuck it up a little bit and it doesn't matter but it is one of those things where it is unequivocally wrong <laughs> you know so that's what it is. Much better quality of play than the uh, <laughs> than the Rebel Super Bowl, in my opinion. <laughs> but who's to say whether that's right or wrong? Absolute classic spike foul. Turn 16 spike foul. It's a gym foul. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> Imagine that, making six cars and losing. But three of the cars basically amounted to nothing. And the rest of the cars were after the match had got away from them. No, it was a good effort, Vulpies. It's funny because, given the board on turn after your after the Brett's turn nine, I'd have done exactly the same thing as you on turn ten, where you know you push all your guys into a big blob and just pray it works out. <laughs> you know, so I'd have done exactly the same thing there, and and then just hope. Hope he, hope he fucks it up or the dice fuck up and obviously neither of those things happen so until until you until you just had an unbelievably shit undead team did quite well <laughs> until you had literally the worst undead team that's ever existed <laughs> um, <laughs> did really well um Nah, Crasco, nah, no, no blood ball after the game. Hey, and at least it was quick. It didn't, it didn't ask, last like three hours like a rebel game would have done. So there is that. You're welcome, Volpies. Um, so there you go. Michaels wasn't happy about it, but there you go. You can't please all the people all the time, can you? <laughs> Congrats to Detox. Commiserations to Volpies. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.